Hello, my name is Thales and Corting and I will show very briefly how the RGB color model works where R means red, G means green and B means blue. So in this model each color is composed by the three primary additive colors which are red, green and blue. It is based on a Cartesian coordinate system in which we have three coordinates and each of the three coordinates uh, stands for one of these three colors. One is for the red, one is for the green and the other is for the blue color. And as a convention we assume that all these systems will vary from zero to one. Well, the idea, the basic idea is that for example, the pure red color is defined by assuming that in this Cartesian system we have R equal to 1, uh, G equal to 0, and B equal to 0 also, and so on. In this case, we will create this point here. If we assume a different point in this 3D space, we can have, for example, G equal to 1 and the other colors equal to 0, so we will have the green color. In the same way we can have the poor blue color. We also assume that when all the coordinates are equal to 0, we have the black color, which means there is no color present, so it's represented by the black color. And we can also define the other corners of this coordinate system from 0 to 1 in all the three axes. So we can have, uh, for example, combination of both colors. For example, if we combine blue and green, we will have the cyan color. If we combine blue and red, we will have the magenta color. And also by combining red and green, we can have the yellow color. And the other extreme of this uh, 3D cube, we can have a place where all the colors are equal to 1, so in this case we have the white color. And the idea is that if we combine these three colors in this, uh, in this 3D space, we can create a combination of all the possible colors that we can have. So in this case we are creating a subset of colors inside this space, but only to show you how the colors are created and how are these colors uh, inside this cube of colors. In the red, in the in the right, we have all the green colors and similar, and then we go to the the upper part is more or less blue, and to the red is close to, and all these combinations we will create what we call the 3D cube or the RGB coordinate system of colors. So this is very briefly how the RGB color model works. Thanks.